First responders from as far away as Massachusetts are in Dallas in a different uniform and not on a fire truck or in a squad car. Fox 4's Sean Rapp says they're part of what's called the Texas Brotherhood Riders and their mission is to never forget. The Brotherhood Ride is a ride to remember first responders, police officers, firefighters, paramedics who lost their lives in 2021. This year's ride started in Texarkana, Texas on Sunday morning and we will finish in Houston on Friday. A roughly six days, right around 500 miles. Cross ladders as the Texas Brotherhood Riders enter the Dallas Fire Rescue Training Facility. 500 grueling miles to remember 32 Texas first responders who died in the line of duty. He passed away last year, October 18, uh, due to COVID. 46-year-old Grand Prairie officer Andrew McDonald was Nancy McDonald's husband. She's grateful for the Texas Brotherhood. It's been amazing. It's they're our family, so and they're treating me like family, so I couldn't, I couldn't ask for more. We always want to honor our, our fallen brothers and sisters, uh, first responders. It's important that we don't forget and always pay homage to them for their service as well as their families. The names of the fallen on the back of the riders' jerseys, who come from as far away as Boston. This jersey here goes all the way back to 2017. We're still honoring the 2017. Dallas and Baton Rouge. That year, the ride honored four Dallas police officers and one Dodd officer who were ambushed and killed July 2016. The same month, six Baton Rouge officers were shot. Three died then. Another lived 2,000 days before recently passing. Dallas officer Scott Ash, riding since the ambush, through his emotions, addressed the families of the fallen. I love you all so much for giving us this opportunity for allowing us to meet you and really make that connection because it means so much to all these guys because they've all lost friends and family. Mesquite police accepted a plaque and painting in the name of Officer Richard Houston, gunned down December last year. Among those honored, 40-year Dallas firefighter David Leos. COVID claimed him one year ago, September 2nd. His widow, her daughter, and his son, also a firefighter, receive his recognition. It's been ups and downs, you know, and this event coming on at the anniversary, you know, it, I'm, I'm honored. I'm very honored and that David's name is being kept alive. From here, the Brotherhood Riders will head to Houston, a cycle of sacrifice to remember those who gave their lives in service to others. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.